Good morning, Vinyl Community. It is Friday morning. Glenn Calloway coming to you from the basement. This is a contest entry for uh, one of the great people on the BC, Steve Carlson. Steve's doing a thank you contest. I think as everyone knows, Steve experienced a horrendous flood in his basement. Can you imagine coming home and finding your entire record collection that you've been building for years and years and one of the things you're probably most proud of and love and uh, seeing it floating in a pile of flood water? Oh, horrible. Man, but uh, Steve recovered from it. He's back and better than ever. And um, this is a thank you to the vinyl community who it was pretty overwhelming to watch how the support that Steve got. People sending the really expensive box sets and then uh, contributing money to the uh, GoFundMe page. And uh, it was really heartwarming and uh, very cool, cool thing. Very cool. So Steve's having a contest. And he's asking us to show records that we were inspired to buy from the vinyl community and I just lost one of mine it just fell how's that for a professional video it's nothing like professional videos and this is nothing like a professional video so let's start off First of all, Steve, when I first started doing my videos, my first one in March 2020, Steve was the most helpful guy, supportive guy. We were emailing back and forth and, and uh, he gave me so many pointers and so much encouragement. I will never forget that ever, Steve, because uh, doing these videos is uh, such a great thing for me personally. It's been awesome, nothing but a great experience. So I'm going to start off with a, two records that Steve kind of talked me into or showed and uh, piqued my interest enough that I purchased them. One, actually, it was a tie. It's Mazzy and Steve. Both showed this record. Gene Clark, no other. Now, obviously, I knew Gene Clark from The Birds, but never paid any attention to his solo stuff. And these guys just raved about this album, and uh, I bought it. And I understand why they were raving so much. It's a great album. This is one of the best albums I have ever bought uh, without having heard it first. And really just an amazing, amazing piece of work. So thank you, Steve and Tamazzi. Steve always comes up with this wacky stuff that no one's ever heard of. I don't know where the hell he finds it. I don't know. You know, it's like, there's a new one from Glenn Kellaway in the basements. They're from you know, South Africa and live in a hut and they travel to uh, England every two years and record records uh, in Abbey Road and uh, it's, he's got the, it, I don't know where he comes up with it, but one of the albums he came up with is Black Market Brass. I really like this album, it's great. It's like a few guys in the band and um, it is an instrumental album I don't even know how to describe it. Great percussion, a lot of brass, and uh, just progressive something or other. I don't know what the heck it is. Professor, pro progressive funk? I don't know, but really good album. Black Market Brass. Thank you for that, Steve. My friend Lisa Tedesco. My good friend Lisa Tedesco. One of my best friends, Lisa Tedesco. If you're not a subscriber to Lisa's channel, please do so. She turned me on to this artist, Frazee Ford. This is an album called Indian Ocean. And this is one called You Can Be the Sun. Both these records are great. Frazee's got a great voice, very soulful. Um, it's singer-songwriter with uh, an R&B flavor, soulful flavor to it. Really good, really good. I should have known Frazee before because she's Canadian and she played in a band that I was aware of called the Be Good Tanyas, but I didn't know that she, any of the names of the members or anything. So 
anyway, another great one if you're looking for something a little different. My friend Sam St. John, huge Mike Nesmith fan and a Monkees fan. Um, Sam and I are going to do a Monkees video coming up next week. Anyway, um, he didn't really show me this first. I think we've talked a lot, person, him and I just chatting back and forth about the monkeys and stuff he likes and that. And I happened to see this in a warehouse deal at Amazon, the Monkeys Live, the Mick and, Mike and Mickey show. And it was $11. Well, the CD sells for like $20 normally. So I thought 11 bucks, that's pretty good. But I didn't really want to pull the trigger because who knows what this is going to sound like. So Sam encouraged me to get it, and it's friggin' good. <laughs> really good. This is a great album. The Mike and Mickey Show. So thanks, Sam, for making me pull the trigger. Last but not least, I think this is JC who showed, who showed this record. Hank Mobley, Soul Station. What a great jazz album this is. This is, uh, this is a jazz album for people that don't like jazz, I think. It's very accessible jazz. It's not, it's far from Coltrane, I'll tell you that. Um, great, great record, and it sounds great, too. It's on the Blue Note label. So, that's it. That's all I'm showing. Steve, so glad you're back on your feet. So glad you're part of this vinyl community, an important part of this vinyl community. I love you, brother. Everyone have a great day. Take care.